hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is lillian and in today's tutorial we're learning how to make this overlap um blouse some people will call it the wrap blouse or the wrap top now this is what we're learning how to make in this tutorial if this is your first time you're highly welcome please like um subscribe and comment so this is my pattern paper i've gone ahead to fold it into two as usual yeah i'm folding it into two but this time around i'm not using one part for the back and one part for the front i'm going to use the whole the whole of them for um one pattern Now I'll go ahead and draw my imaginary line, which will serve as the starting point for all my measurements. Now I'm going to mark out the length of my blouse. I'm using 17 inches. It's basically a crop top, so it shouldn't be very long. So I'm using 17 inches as the length of my blouse. And I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. Now this becomes my shoulder line. The next thing I want to do is to mark out my shoulder measurement, which is my shoulder divided by 2, 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. And, and I'm going to go down by 1 inch. For the neck opening, I'm using 3 inches. And I'm going to slant my shoulder. Now for the armhole, you already know how to divide your armhole, but I'm just going to go ahead and use 18 inches for my armhole. I'm going to rule out that line. Now at the armhole line, I'm going to measure my shoulder measurement again, which is seven and a half. And I'm going to connect it in a straight line to my shoulder slant now this will serve as when i want to draw my armhole curve now at the armhole line i'm going to measure my bust impute my bust measurement which is your bust circumference divided by four mine is nine inches i'm going to go ahead and measure my seven and a half inches waist um waist measurement And I'm going to mark it out now I went ahead to add half inch allowance for my sewing sewing allowance and all of this so I'm not going to be adding it when I'm cutting it on fabric now I divided my armhole length into two and I went in by half inch and then I'm using my hand to sketch my armhole I looked for my French curve I don't know where I kept it I don't know, it's so unprofessional of me, but this is me using my hand to sketch my armhole curve. Now for the neck depth, the back neck depth, I'm using one inch. I'm also going to use my hand to sketch it because I don't know where I kept my French curve. And this is basically it for the back measurement. We're going to go ahead and cut it. I will be patient guys, be patient, watch and enjoy. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, this is the right time to click that subscribe button. Okay guys, so this is our back measurement here. This is what the back looks like. And now before we alter this into the front um, pattern, we're going to cut out the back on fabric first. So I'm using a very lightweight crepe. And then I'm, I'm, I've gone ahead to like check which part is the stretchy part. And I'm going to fold it into two. Remember the stretchy part should be the width, while the non-stretchy part should be the length. So I'm going to have to fold my fabric into two. And then I'm going to 
place my um, back pattern at the edge of the folded parts the parts that you have unfold that's where you're going to place your back pattern because you don't want to be having um an open back you understand a slitted back so you need your back to be unfold now that it's properly placed we're going to go ahead and cut it leaving half inch allowance for the joining and the hemming except for the side seam area because we've already added our half inch allowance to the pattern but in case you did not add allowance to your pattern remember to add that allowance when you're cutting it on fabric now you're going to look for the right side of your fabric and the wrong side of your fabric when you get the wrong side of your fabric you're going to use a chalk to indicate that that is the wrong side now we're going to alter the pattern to get our front pattern you're going to come to one side And you're going to measure out two inches from the bottom and you're going to get your curve ruler i usually use my hip curve i'm going to use it to give it um a very nice curve so you're going to place it from that two inches point to the neck opening point as you see me do here so this is what it has to look like it has to look like this or nothing now you're going to go ahead and cut it out it's very simple it's just this simple now you have your front pattern Now the next thing you have to do is to cut it out on fabric. Now from the from the space remaining from um when I cut the back pattern, I'm going to cut out the front pattern from there too. And then I'm going to place my front pattern in the way that I want it to be, and then I'm going to cut it leaving out half inch allowance all through, just as I did for the back pattern except for the side seam area remember we've already added our half inch allowance to the to the pattern or in case you do not add allowance to your pattern then you can go ahead and add your half inch to your fabric while we're at it guys please like this post subscribe to my channel and if you have any question please drop it in the comment section guys so look for the wrong part and then you're going to indicate the wrong pattern with your chalk yeah so guys this is it as you can see it is properly overlapped so now it's time to cut the sleeve So in the same way as I folded the um the fabric when I cut the front and the back pattern, I folded it into two, and this time around I'm going to fold into four again. Um, the length of this fabric is sixty inches, and I'm using the whole sixty inches for my sleeve. The fabric is very lightweight, so the whole this whole sixty inches will be okay for me. But if you have um a fabric that is heavy weight, you can reduce it. You can do thirty. You can do 20 depends on how full you want your sleeve to be now i'm using 12 inches at the as the length of my sleeve i don't want it to be three quarter i just want it to be short so i'm going to mark out my 12 inches 
and this is for one sleeve and i'm going to draw out another 12 inches which is for the second sleeve So now it's time to cut the sleeve. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. This is our sleeve folded into two for the both sleeves, the left and the right sleeve. So now the next thing we want to cut is the belt. For the belt, I want the belt that is 2 inches long, so I'm going to cut out 5 inches belts into 2, so that when I fold it, I'll be having about 2 and a half. I'll use half inch to, to sew it together, and then I'll be left with 2 inches. Yeah, so go ahead and cut out 5 inches piece for your belt. quite easy quite simple and in case you didn't know i have a bridal judge training um going on so you can if you want to join the class the class is just five thousand naira um you can leave me a comment in the comment section and then i'll reply you as to how to join this class so for us to sew this is very simple you're going to get your back pattern and your front pattern place them right side on each other and then firstly you're going to join your shoulder now this is it after i've joined the shoulder this is what it looks like the next thing i'm going to do is to hem the neckline you can use bias but as for this tutorial i'm going to use the fabric to fold it what i'm going to do is i'm going to take about quarter inch first and then take another quarter inch and then i'm going to hem it that way now i'm done i'm done hemming it and look at how neat it looks but first there is nothing like a neat work without ironing so you have to sprinkle some water on top of your fabric and then you're going to iron it yeah guys ironing makes your work super neat if you sew and you don't iron um you're going to be left with a rough work so this is it guys after we've properly ironed it and then we've um this is what it looks like yeah this is what it looks like So the next thing we want to do is to work on the sleeve. Okay, before we work on the sleeve, let's go ahead and sew the, the belt together. So as you can see, this is the 5 inch, you're going to fold it into 2. And then at the edge, you're going to sew it in a curvy way. And then you're going to sew using half inch all the way through to the other end. After you're done sewing, you're going to flip it over. So this is it. I've sewn it and I've flipped it over and then this is what it looks like. So go ahead and give it a very nice press and it will be all flat and nice. So the next thing we want to work on is the sleeve. So you're going to sew the width of your sleeve by half inch. You're going to fold it by half inch twice. And then leave a space so that your elastic can pass can pass through it so okay this is what it looks like after we've sewn it and then i'm going to get my half inch elastic i'm going to measure out about 10 and a half inches my round my round sleeve is about 12 inches but the the elastic is quite stretchy so 10 and a half would do perfectly for me so I'm going to get my safety pin and then fix it, fix it into the the elastic, and then I'm going to go ahead and pass it through the um whatever thing that I've sewn. I don't know what to call it, through the hem. So I'm going to go ahead and 
pass it systematically this way so you have to be careful so that you don't drag the whole elastic inside as you pull you're going to watch out for when you reach the edge just like i've done now and you're going to run a stitch down there to hold it down so that when you're pulling the elastic it will still hold there and then it will keep gathering now this is what it looks like i've already pulled my elastic and i've closed it at the other point now i've gone ahead to run um a stitch a running stitch a gathered stitch on the other top of the slip of the sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and pull it and gather it because what i'm doing is a puff a puff sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and gather the top of the of the sleeve so this is what it looks like one part has elastic and the other part is just gathers i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the bodies of the sleeve of the dress as you can see i've already done one i've attached one and i've closed the side now it's time to do the other side i'm going to go ahead and attach the this um sleeve to the armhole of my of my blouse and after i'm done attaching it i'm going to close the sides i'm going to close the sides leaving out a space of about one inch or one and a half inches for me to pass the the belt remember you need to leave out a little space for passing of your belt so after i leave out that space i'm going to go ahead and close the down part again before i hem it yeah so this is what i mean i've gone ahead to join it and this is the little opening that I left. Yeah, this is it. So this is the place where I'm going to pass my belt from. Now, the next thing I want to do is to hem the bottom. After which, when I'm done hemming the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and attach the belt to the tip of that area. And that is done. That is basically it. The, the blouse is just simple. Yeah, guys, so this is my blouse. This is what it looks like after I'm done um, sewing it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and see you next time.